Greetings family, peace and love to you and yours. This is Guru and thanks for visiting my channel. Family, this video is about these parents who reportedly lose custody of their children due to low IQs. That's right, low IQs. You know how they always say that white people have high IQs? They love to push that narrative that's ever so false and phony. But they love to push that narrative. Well, this is a case example where this couple, they actually lose custody of their children due to low IQ. So let's go to the story. This American couple who claimed they lost custody of their two young sons because of their limited cognitive abilities are fighting back. Amy Fabrini, 31, and Eric Ziegler, 38, had their first child, Christopher, removed from their home about four years ago, shortly after he was born. Fabrini says Christopher was taken by the state after a friend accused Ziegler of, quote, not picking up on the baby's cues. More recently, social services took away the couple's newborn son, Hunter. According to the Oregonian, psychological evaluations provided by the couple test Fabrini's IQ at about 72, placing her in the extremely low to borderline range of intelligence, unquote. Ziegler scored about 66, placing him in the mild range of intellectual disability. The average IQ for adults is between 90 and 110. They're thinking that because we have this disability, we can't safely parent our children, Fabrini told KTVZ in an interview. Well, Obviously, the state feels that way. I have to agree with the state. If, you, if your intelligence is barely able to sustain for yourself, what makes you think you're okay to take care of some children? I think they did the right thing. Family, what do you think? This is, Guru, this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Peace and love to you and yours. Yes, again. This is another example that not all white people have high IQs. Let this be placed in the record books. I'm out.